right guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the Extreme Power US Mini Washer uh, Twin Tub with the built-in pump. I uh, don't know the exact model number, I'll put the uh, specifications and model number and product information uh, in the description below. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a load of laundry. Alright, so uh, first off, pardon, pardon the noise, I can't turn off my vent fan, it's part of the lights. So uh, that's just going to have to stay on. But first thing I want to bring up is the, uh, the inlet hose that uh, attaches to the unit over here. Um, only problem with this tube, which a lot of people have already mentioned, is uh, the adapter over here is just way too small. It really needs to be uh, flared out a bit more. Um, so as you can see here on my faucet, it's about the same diameter as my faucet, so it just will not connect on there whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to be filling uh, using a kind of base mug from the bathtub. Um, I've seen a good solution for this is to go and buy a cheap uh, chicken baster and put the narrow nozzle in here and cut an X pattern in the tip of the bulb and use that uh, kind of rubbery bulb and you should be able to press right onto your faucet uh, and that'll be a good kind of in between but you know what I'm just uh, I'm not going to worry about that today. All right, guys, so the uh, first step that I'm going to do is, uh, first off, make sure that it's uh, plugged into the wall. Uh, make sure you do not have it set to drain. It's uh, kind of hard to see, but there's a little uh, little kind of bulb over here on the left side. I currently have it set to soft. I don't plan on doing towels or jeans. Uh, soft should work just fine. Do not have it on drain when you're trying to fill up or you're just going to be working against yourself. So let's open this up. Uh, I've already filled this one up here. Uh, what I like to do is uh, I like to start by adding a little bit of water first to the unit. Um, then the next step is I'm going to add my powder detergent. I make my own. Uh, I'll post a link down in the description or an annotation to the video on how I make this. But it's just one cup of borax, one cup of washing soda, and one finely grated or processed bar of Feld's naphtha. So I'm going to add my powder detergent in here and then I'm just going to turn on the agitator uh, just for a couple seconds. There we go. So all that simply did is that just kind of mixed around my detergent. Uh, now what I can do is I can add my clothes to this uh, then fill it up with water and turn it on. Another alternative is to fill the tub with water first and then add your clothes while it's spinning. Uh, the second option, make sure that um, you don't overload the machine because as soon as you add a piece of clothing and it's too heavy, it's going to stop spinning. Uh, I like that method, but I'm sure as soon as I kind of get used to the unit and its capacity, I'll go with option one, which is just dump my clothes in, fill the water line above where the clothes are, and let it run. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back as it's washing. Alright guys, so the first step to washing your laundry with this machine is to fill the unit, uh, add your detergent, add your clothes. I filled mine up to uh, just where those top sort of lines are. I believe that's the lint filter. Uh, not quite sure if I can fill it up all the way to the top where those are. Uh, I think that might be like a overflow guard for the unit. Um, this seemed to make the most sense. Again, it wasn't clear in the instructions, but uh, this is about good. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then uh, we're going to go over here, and I'm going to turn the dial all the way to 15. Again, it's on the soft setting, and I'm going to open the lid. You can see that pulsator does a really good job of spinning the clothes around. You can see that water's already getting nice and dirty, getting all of that dirt uh, out of my clothing. Um, so some differences with the uh, soft setting and the normal setting is the soft setting uh, pulses in both directions, but it kind of takes about a three to five second break in between spins. If I turn it over here to the normal setting, you're going to notice that it's probably going to spin a little bit longer and there's less time there's less time in between the directions. So again, 
Uh, towels, jeans, uh, anything really, really soiled. You're going to want to use that normal setting. For me, though, uh, I'm going to put it back to the soft setting. 15 minutes, and I'll see you guys back when it's done. All right, guys, so it's been 15 minutes. The laundry is now done. Look at how dirty that water is. Uh, so now the next step that you want to do is go over to your dial, and you want to switch it over to drain. And you'll hear the pump start to kick on. Uh, you can see all the water's coming out over there. Uh, not quite level. I don't have it up on like a box or anything like that. Uh, so the pump will have to work a little bit, but this is maybe a foot, foot and a half, so I think the pump can handle it. Uh, and the water's going to drain down, so I will see you guys when it's done. Alright guys, so all the water's been drained out now, so the next thing you want to do is go over here to your spinner, uh, pop up both lids, uh, take out the little guard temporarily. And now we want to take about half the clothes in here and move them over to here. This will do about half the load, uh, but that shouldn't be a problem. And I'll explain that at the end of the video, why uh, that's not uh, super detrimental to your time or anything. I think I found a good way to uh, run this pretty efficiently. So that's about half the load. Uh, so let's go ahead. You want to take your guard pop it down there. You want to make sure that your clothes are evenly spaced, uh, but then close the lid down here. Uh, close this other lid over here, and then go over here to your spin, and you spin for about five seconds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, this is the load that I've already spun, I've taken it out, I have the second load going in, and while that second load is finishing up spinning, I'm going to go ahead and fill this with the rinse water, and by the time this is filled up, I can add those clothes in and start rinsing. Alright, so now I've taken the clothes out of the spin dryer, and moved them over here, I've filled this with just clean cold water, back up to the same point it was before. Uh, this is my homemade fabric softener, it's just three cups of hot water, one and a half cups of white distilled vinegar and one cup of pretty much any store conditioner and I'm going to be using two tablespoons of that uh, normally in a big washer I'd use a quarter cup uh, there's 16 tablespoons in a cup so if I use two that's about an eighth of a cup and I'd say this is probably about half a load uh, of what I would use in a regular like laundromat machine so two tablespoons should be perfect. All right, so now that I've added my fabric softener, uh, I'm going to close the lid, and I'm going to turn it back on the wash cycle, and I'm going to put it for about five, six minutes on the rinse. Uh, since you're not really washing the clothes, you're just trying to get the detergent out of it. Um, I really think five minutes is all you need. Fifteen, you're, you're pretty much just wasting your time. Uh, so I'll see when it's done. All right, so now that that's done rinsing, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to turn the knob back to drain. You can see uh, the water drain out of the tub over there. Uh, and again, as it's draining down right here, no reason why you can't uh, start to take your clothes and uh, move them over to the spin dryer. about half. Okay, so now I've put about half of my clothes. Uh, this is still draining. Uh, let's go ahead and start the spinner uh, so we don't waste any of our time. Alright, so the rinse cycle is done. So I moved all the clothes into the spin dryer, uh, spun the rest of the water out of them, uh, and then I pretty much just repeated uh, all of those steps for uh, three to four loads of laundry. So I ended up washing eight t-shirts, uh, eight pairs of socks, two pairs of jeans, and three towels uh, in three loads. So that's quite a good capacity. Um, and overall, it probably took me maybe a half an hour to do each load of laundry. So an hour and a half and a conventional washer, you're talking about probably a 30 to 45 minute wash cycle with about an 45 minute to hour uh, tumble drying cycle.
Alright, so I'm sure you guys may all be wondering, hey, can this machine wash jeans? Well, let's find out. I have two pairs of jeans right here, so let's find out if this will wash them or not. So one pair of jeans, looks pretty good so far, let's go ahead and try another one. Two pairs of jeans, probably. Uh, I'd say three is probably going to push this machine to its limit, but if I fill this with a little bit more water, I could probably throw in a couple pieces of underwear, maybe a t-shirt or two, and some socks. But uh, yeah, it'll definitely wash jeans.